Okay, super quick video. I have a lot of people curious as to what this contraption is. So this is called the trigger scan. Basically, it'll analyze a trigger pull or the action in a firearm. Uh, we can do pistols, shotguns, rifles, whatever. Um, so it takes it's a computerized, um, basically just pulls the trigger with this motor right here. Okay, so it's gonna pull the trigger and it's gonna take the force that it um, takes to pull the trigger versus the distance travel and combine that with there's a probe here that goes down into the barrel the end of the, our striker is going to contact that so we'll take all this information there and translate it onto a graph so let's do that really quick we're just going to hit the play button up here and it'll pull our trigger back and then it's going to graph that data okay so we can zoom in on our graph here. Uh, so your basic phases, um, your basic categories of the trigger pull, basically your 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 take up and your pre-travel and then your wall and then your creep and then your break and then the distance between here and here is your over travel. Uh, and then all that breaks down into little things going on on this graph here, okay? So like here, this staticky looking line right here is actually the sear um, rubbing against the striker as it's pulling down and it's going to release the striker uh, this is our break this other dot is the um, uh, moment that it impacted the um, if there was a round in the chamber it would hit the primer it's called your lock time so 3.40 milliseconds uh, the difference between distance between here and here is our over travel um, we got our trigger pull weight basically our peak force 4.449 uh, we got our over travel number. Sometimes it gives a initial take up. Um, it's too light, I think, or too short on our striker fired because this works every single time on double action um, pistols. So I'm not sure why that doesn't always give a reading. Anyway, so you can break all this stuff down. Like this is where the striker hits the end of the striker cavity and it's kind of bouncing around there, the vibrations. And all this stuff can just be analyzed. I mean, down to the smallest curves here, okay? So what I want to do quickly is I'll put the Armory Craft trigger in it with the Armory Craft uh, spring tuning kit, and then we'll compare it right on this graph, right alongside it, with the uh, factory trigger. All right, so we have removed the factory trigger, trigger bar spring, both sear springs, and the striker safety spring, and we installed the Armory Craft trigger with the uh, minus 50% sear springs, minus 10% trigger bar spring, and then our minus 20% striker safety spring. Okay, let's like say we put the trigger in it, adjusted up our pre-travel and our over-travel, and now we'll hit play on our computer. And then we'll take a look at our new graph. So this is our new graph versus the factory trigger. Uh, you can see it's a lot shorter because pre-travel and over-travel has been greatly reduced, and you can see it's a lot shorter, okay, because the trigger pull weight has been reduced. So trigger pull weight, 4.499 on the factory, 3.534 3 on the Armory Craft. Um, travel to actuate is almost cut in half. The initial take up, like I said, doesn't always, all this here is is the data in the beginning added together and put here. I don't know why it doesn't populate that parameter like it does for the over travel it's the same thing uh, it works all the time like i said in double action pistols but striker is kind of 50 50. anyway so over travel 0 0.057 on our factory 0 0.033 on the armory craft energy to act our actuate's been reduced and our lock time has been reduced so 3.4 on the factory 3.3 on the armory craft so you can basically see how this is your pre-travel all of this up to the wall on your factory trigger, okay? And then all of this right here is your pre-travel on your armory craft. And then distance from the break to this line here is our over-travel. Break to this line here is our over-travel, okay? So pretty huge difference there. Um, and another interesting thing I found out when you're adjusting over-travel, if you can still adjust it more to reduce this number even more i can get to like 0 0.018 with the armory craft but what happens is when you reduce this your trigger pull weight increases okay because you got to pull it harder at the end of the trigger pull to get the break to break okay so moral of the story here things i'm finding out is 
having zero over travel isn't always beneficial because then you're increasing your trigger pull weight because you got to pull it harder um, to get that. You know, sometimes when you over adjust your over travel, it does not fire. You got to back it out a little bit. Well, it's because you're running into the end of the trigger travel. Um, anyway, so there's little things like that that this tool is teaching me. Um, so this is not only good just for triggers and stuff like that, but like the video I did last night of the uh, Armory Craft Ultimate Master Spring Tuning Kit and our classic SIGs with the sear springs and the main springs in there. Um, we're gonna do, that was just a quickie to get it up on, on there. We're gonna do a more detailed video. Also, uh, for all the geeks out there that really like this type of info, um, I'll put a tab on the website, trigger scan data or whatnot. And we'll post all these results and numbers because we got um, this here where basically all our numbers are there as well, averages and everything. So um, there you have it. That's the trigger scan. Uh, as we get more familiar with it and uh, find more useful things for it, we'll post a bunch of stuff online. So thanks for watching.